Hey guys, guess who's back? That's right, Urbanized Dreams is back once again. And uh, yeah, I've been gone for a while. Uh, I took a break from YouTube. Uh, I just, uh, I don't know, life got busy again. And um, yeah, I was just kind of like losing interest in doing these videos. But I'm kind of back, I feel re-energized. And I have a whole bunch of Jadas I'm gonna be doing videos on, but I'm really excited to do this video today. This is for the 118 Auto Art Honda Civic Type R FK8. For those that were wondering uh, and have been following my channel, I actually had a video a long time ago about how I uh, prefer to collect Kyosho Samurai and Jada over Auto Art and blah blah blah. And uh, quickly to recap, so this is a composite model from Auto Art. Basically, that just uh, means it's plastic. But they do mix uh, die cast like in the internals somewhere inside. So I'm not really sure about that, like what they do in there, because I'm not gonna open the model completely. But uh, I lost interest in uh, Auto Art. I used to have Auto Art way back in the day, and I sold them to get into the whole resin uh, collection collecting for uh, Kyosho Samurai. Which I have one here, I'm going to do a comparison a little bit later in the video. But um, the, what I lost the appeal for auto art from the older models is that because they were die cast, the paint wasn't as good in my opinion compared to resin. And uh, a few of my uh, old auto art started to get um, paint rashes so I kind of sold them off because they were really valuable. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to sell them and just focus on something else. And uh, yeah, so you know, I switched from auto art. I wasn't really too... I mean, for back in the day, like 2000s, auto art was really, really good. But then, uh, you know, the standard kind of started, they started slipping on the standard and I found that uh, other models are better. But then, if you guys know the story, I collected Kyosho Samurai and auto and I lost interest in resin because they're not opening. So I went to Jada <laughs> and then now I'm back here at auto art. And uh, this is probably gonna be my focus now going forward. Now I, I'm gonna still do a whole bunch of Jada 118s and stuff videos just for you guys that are interested for the Jada toys but this was a test to see if I wanted this to collect auto art and composite and guys I am super impressed and I will be going forward and collecting the auto art 118s and only the composite so I'm not doing any of the die cast versions from the back releases I'm really impressed I actually had this car in the Kyosho Samurai which unfortunately I don't have it because I sold it but to do a comparison but um, I have a little video I'll show later on uh, doing a little comparison for that. So anyways, enough rambling. This is the box it comes with. So the box is very similar to what Kyosho Samurai would come in. And then uh, as you can see here, it says composite die cast model car. And the reason they do die cast, like I said, they're internally, there's some die cast parts in there. And then uh, the model comes attached on this uh, um, in that styrofoam box, which is very resin now. I guess they're following the trend for that. Uh, get a little piece of paper there for the underbody. Very nice. Moving on, nobody cares about the box. So, the car, first off, look at that. It rolls, woo! You know, I've, I've come so accustomed to resin models that don't roll and stuff that this just feels amazing. So anyways, I'm back in Ottawa, who would have thought? Now, um, I'm not gonna really talk about the price because actually, you know what, I will, I will talk about the price real quick. These are pretty expensive, but considering what Jada's going for nowadays, this is a bargain because Jada's, if you guys know, are really skyrocketing in price. I mean, they're selling for like 500 bucks now for some of the models. So here it is. Let's start. The front end, uh, and I'm going to actually kind of talk about the um, resin also. So I had the resin model of this, and front end wise, this actually feels and seems like it's better than that particular model. Very crisp details, uh, everything. There's like no flaws whatsoever. I mean, their quality control is very good look at that nice grill detail everything's kind of like perforated so uh, you have the grill but then you also have detail in the back very very nice nice headlights nice Honda emblem with the type R badge um, yeah I mean no complaints here from the exterior from the front end the front lip looks great so yeah let's move on to the side so this is the uh, side right here uh, let me zoom out a little bit. Actually, or should I keep it zoomed like this? This is kind of nice. Um, yeah, so, I mean, everything's perfect to tell you the truth. There's no flaws, and um, the, I like how with the composite models now, the uh, gaps here are super tight, so it seems like it's resin at a, at a point. 
uh, which is nice but you know there's still a little bit of a gap but that's that's you know that's how a real car real cars have a little bit of gaps there too so yeah beautiful beautiful side profile the uh, got the rotors here with the brakes all the wheels spin and you got the front very nice bramble front brakes with the slotted rotors for the front because this is a front wheel drive and uh, yeah it's just details here with like the churn signal I mean this is a very very beautiful piece considering that I had the resin model that cost the exact same pretty much maybe it was like 40 bucks cheaper than this but oh my gosh like once we start getting into like this is opening this is pretty crazy so oh and actually for collectors of auto art that are on the fence between composite I know a lot of collectors are kind of like yippy yappy about oh auto art is and what they went composite how dare they but honestly guys i mean i used to collect auto art from way back too and um yeah there's a charm to die cast but to me this is the future and this is the way we should be moving forward because the, the like the paint's better the the sharpness of the model is better like everything's better the hint like everything's better so i mean I'm, i don't really see what there is to miss about the die cast and I mean, maybe people are just saying that just to, they think that their collection will lose value. Let me tell you something. Your collection will never lose value because those Jadas here in the background, if you see, those things are nowhere near as detailed as Auto Art and their values have skyrocketed. So, I mean, your die cast collection for Auto Art will never drop. It's always going to be valuable. So, I don't really see like, the worry about your die cast collection. Even if they're going to be released, like they're doing their R34, it's not going to hurt the value. The diecast is always going to have a special part uh, in somebody's collection and it's always going to be valuable so don't worry about that. So yeah, rear end of the car, uh, crazy lines here going on with the FK8 Civic but uh, yeah again very nice detail and there's no like there's no side effects because um, or side effects what I'm saying there's no like um, issues here uh, because my uh, Kyosha Samurai actually has some quality control issues along the uh, front and rear of the um, model so yeah anyways very very nice fake grills here like just like on the real car so you know what you expect and uh, yeah this comes in a whole bunch of different colors uh, black red gray and white I decided to go uh, white just because I don't know I just feel like this is how this car should look but I mean um, the red one looks pretty cool too and the gray one also black one is okay and I find the blues a little bit weird I don't know I've never did they even have these in blue like I've never seen these in blue so anyways yeah uh, uh, other than that this side everything's perfect too the only thing on this side is I don't know if it's my table but so, this wheel doesn't always the back wheel doesn't always or I shouldn't maybe it does so it is like the table but anyways whatever uh, yeah so again nice decent on the wheels you got the nice lug, lug, uh, lug nuts with the uh, Honda emblem carbon fiber side profile uh, side skirts what am I doing side profile uh, you see guys I'm rusty on these videos so yeah all right let's open this baby up and see how this go oh actually here let me do a top overview here so there you go uh, also a difference actually with this one the paint is a little bit more coffee white uh, compared to the Kyosho Samurai it was like it was more whiter than this so that's something to take note of um, but yeah all right let's start with the back the most boring part I guess so auto art gives this little key I've heard some people say oh it's so pointless to never use it I love this key so I don't know what people are talking about but for the rear we don't really need it because we have this big wing to lift it up with but you know you can uh, open the spoiler like this ta-da and you will be surprised to see that there is there is nothing in there but um, it's kind of hard to see on the camera but it is carpeted and there's a lot of nice little details here like even the seats have a uh, like those little, what are they called? Like you can see the lines where the seat would fold. And um, as you can see, the hinges are just spot on with auto wear nowadays. I love how they're doing the hinges. Uh, now they were doing this with some die cast models also for later releases, but yeah, very nice. Look at that realism, look at that. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, very nice. Now uh, let's open up the doors. So all the doors open on this model. So, bam. Ba bam uh, let me open up this side too just so we can ba bam some more but uh, no just to get more light into the car so uh, the seats are plastic 
So back in the day, auto art used to actually do like kind of textured seats. So these are kind of like textured plastic, but uh, yeah, they're plastic, but they actually look really nice. And um, I mean, there's the front. Very nice detail here. And uh, the car like there's carpet inside for the, the floor. The floor is carpeted. And there is seat belts for the driver's side, the passenger side, and the, the rear. Let me try, this is a little bit tricky um, to get, but if you can see it there, there's the seatbelt. So yeah, the seatbelt looks great. Take my word for it. And I bet there's a whole bunch of great pictures online that you can check these out. So yeah, very nice, everything's opening. We'll switch it around here. Uh, so this is the driver's side and uh, I have two buddies to that watch my videos uh, that are my close friends and uh, Yeah, guys, what do you think? It's pretty awesome, huh? Um, so yeah, auto art. This is where I'm going forward uh, So even like the seats here as you can see oh, It's a little bit tricky, but they have like that carbon fiber texture like on the real car So very nice uh, and then yeah, very nice detail there with the uh, salon so, it's just they they nailed it honestly I think they did an excellent job I don't really see any flaws like I said so yeah there, there's the seats yeah I'm not too good with interiors I'm sorry um, yeah so let's close these doors up because it's a cold day we're gonna close the doors now last but not least uh, and we'll do the undercarriage a little bit later here uh, we'll just open up this um, the hood so the hood um, very nice it stays up on its own so tada beautiful uh, little things like attention to detail is how they have like the little stickers here so the little stickers that my camera doesn't want to zoom into they're too small but you know they have like those stickers like on the real car and the cool thing is is that they actually have the text and everything on it like on the real car uh, and there's also like two little magnets here to keep the, the hood closed but um yeah and then they also have this little uh, the actual like stick like on the real car to keep this open so i don't know my hood stays open without it but i guess they do it for aesthetics and i think some hoods don't because i remember my auto wars some of them never stayed up but yeah i'd be like that for example and uh, yeah, so check this out. So we're gonna, I should put this back down just so I can, cause I can open it more without that stick. So look at that detail guys. So for the auto art collectors that may be watching this, you might be thinking, okay, whatever. I mean, I collect auto art, no big deal. But I mean, for, for someone like me who hasn't been collecting auto art for a long time and has been doing resin, <laughs> This just feels so refreshing just to see this beautiful engine detail. Look at the uh, battery there on the right with the stickers. You get the he uh, Honda um, badge here. Well, not but like the the nameplate. You even have the little oil cap detail there. You know, like the intakes and it just it's like even like here the struts. It is just amazing. I mean, I'm assuming that's the washer fluid, I think, or coolant. Um, yeah, it is just amazing. I am so impressed with the detail, and uh, I think Ottawa's really nailing it with these composite models. Now, close it up, and we're gonna quickly show the underbody. So, the underbody, uh, for those that are wondering this is what it looks like auto art did a uh, great detail here so you have some textured underbody you have the exhaust piping and you have even like the end links here and the suspension components on the rear they can really see it as well as the exhaust and the tips so why is this cool and why this really destroys the resin models for example check this out I'm gonna put this here I'm gonna pop something open here in a sec if my computer starts and actually while it's starting Oh, if it starts, or anything's gonna start. I want to quickly show you my Kyosho Samurai model, and uh, this can you imagine is the same price as the Auto Art, but the difference with this is nothing opens. So the only positive I can really say about this Kyosho Samurai line now is that the paint is really nice. But again, I don't really have a comparison because this is a different paint color, obviously, um, to compare the paints between the two cars. I, I think the 
Kyosho Simmer will probably still have a better, higher quality paint. Um, just judging from the Subaru here, but you know, like this is it, it's a brick. Uh, and like the underbody, even the underbody is not as detailed, right? And this one actually has a little bit more detail. Um, the uh, Kyosho Samurai Type R that I had, it didn't even have that detail. All right guys, I'm back, sorry about that. So check this out. This is the Kyosho Samurai model I had of the Civic Type R. There's the underbody. Look at that, like look at the lack of detail. And they're charging the exact same pretty much. I paid like 260, 270. This is Canadian by the way. $270 for that resin and I paid 330 for this. Like look at this, look at the difference. Look at that, look at the detail there. And then what do we got here? We got, you know, we got this gap here. Like I don't even know what, 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 the, what is this? What happened to the exhaust there, you know? So yeah, it's just, it's crazy, you know? And uh, by the way, actually, if anybody was wondering, I bought this Type R from uh, Scale, uh, scale uh, Diecast from Edmonton. I'm not sure about the name actually, exactly. But um, yeah. And uh, yeah, if anybody was wondering, you can watch my video there for the Kyosho Samurai FK8 on my YouTube. But yeah, just to bring out this back comparison, you know, there you go. Resin, composite, you know, resin, nothing's opening, composite, everything opens. It is such a big difference and actually side by side, this is exactly what I wanted because I was, you know, the old die cast of AutoWare, they looked a little bit cheap on display compared to resin for Kyosho Samurai. But now, honestly, the composite looks like it's a resin in terms of like exterior quality. And um, yeah, guys, I'm really happy and we're gonna be getting more. The next one coming up is gonna be the GTR R34. And I, yeah, anybody is on the fence with the composite, I, I highly uh, suggest that you don't be worried about that. And uh, by the way, yeah, I'll, I'll bring out that link to where I bought this. So I bought this from Scale Spec Diecast. Uh, so this is, a, this is a Canadian shop, Scale Spec Diecast from Edmonton. Uh, very good shop. They, they're actually like a tuning shop for uh, like they do wheels and stuff for like Japanese sports cars and stuff. Really cool, uh, seems like a cool shop in uh, Edmonton. But uh, yeah, they have this little side business here with the die casts and uh, yeah, they do auto arts. So they still have the, um, what's it called? Uh, the auto art uh, FK8s in different colors. They don't have the white one anymore because I bought it. But this is like one of the only shops left that have these. Uh, I think there's uh, some other shops, but I'm not gonna, t uh, yeah, actually there is some other shops that have these. Uh, pretty much the same prices. I'm not gonna tag them in this video just because I've, uh, you know, I bought it from here, so I might as well give the uh, shout out to this place. But yeah, very good, very quick shipping. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you're in Canada, you know, I suggest you support them. They're a good, great little shop. And they have like, like ignition models and stuff like that too. So yeah, check them out. Uh, scale Spec Diecast. And then this is their uh, Instagram Real Wheel Deal. Real Wheel Deal Instagram, and I, I don't know, what are the shop called? I don't even know what it's called. Or I think that it is the shop called, but yeah, like I said, they have like all these like ball and, uh, you know, wheels and stuff for like your cars. If you're in the Edmonton area, uh, you, you know, check them out. But yeah, I mean, you just waste some time here on the Instagram page. They've got a whole bunch of cool stuff here actually, so. So, oh dang, wait, we got an NSX here. Oh guys, okay, right, this video's gonna get tw too long, too long, shut it down, shut it down. All right guys, auto art, start your engines, vroom, 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 and we're off. Hey, quick uh, uh, add-on here, I forgot to mention, the, uh, the wheels do churn, so as you can see, and when they churn, the steering wheel churns. So you can you can churn it from the steering wheel or you can just do it like manually from the wheels. So yeah, a nice little extra detail.